from all four corners of the world. I'm welcoming you to my presentation today. I want to show you how to auto generate code in Terraform and what is the use case. Imagine today an organization reaches to you and say, We are now tired of manual changes. We have made enough. Engineers are changing things left, right, and center in their cloud environment. Now it's time to move the resources to Terraform. If you don't have the right tools, that's the beginning of a nightmare. Simplicity is the key here. What do you do? This is what I'm going to show you with one of the features that was brought in by Terraform, starting from version 1.5. Let's get into the business and I show you. I'll start here from my AWS console where I'm going to create the resource manually. This does not only apply to AWS, I'm just using it as an example. It can be Google, it can be Azure, name it. So let's jump into the business. For my EC2 console, I'll go to security groups. I just have one default security group. However, I want to create a new one which I'm going to import. Let's call this security group manual dash then from there, uh, test manual, just a description that I'm giving to the security group. Then from there, let's say I want to put an inbound rule. Uh, I can say I want to allow TCP port 810, or I can just say HTTP is the same thing. From where I can say from anywhere, I can also add an additional rule that I can allow a different protocol. I can say NFS, maybe from some private IP somewhere. It's just an example. Right, that is good enough for a demo. Then I create the security group. So this is our security group, allowing NFS, allowing HTTP, and let's go to Terraform now. I created a folder on my PC. This folder at the moment is empty. I'm going to use my favorite IDE, which is VS Code. Installed. So I'll start by creating a provider file. Provider.tf. Since I'm using AWS, this is what I'm going to do. My region element is not Virginia, which is US list. Initialize my Terraform to get the AWS plugins. Perhaps initialize if you go to the Terraform documentation you find that to create a security group you need a resource block like this one however i'm not going to take everything i'm going to use this just to guide me in creating the import and then we call the auto generation 
go back to my terminal, create a new file, let's name it input.tf. From then, I'll just put this as a reference and comment it out. Right, we go back to documentation. Right. So what we do when we're importing our resource in Terraform, we, the new way is to use the import block for the import block. I'll copy this syntax, take it to my ID. Right, from here, this is the actual resource that we are importing, the address of the resource. So you take it from here because you are putting a security group. Copy this part, put it here. Dot bar can be anything, so I can see my security group or my SG. Then ID is the actual ID of the resource from the AWS console. If you look at the security group, this is the ID. Then you take this ID, punch it here. Once this is in place, I'm going to show you something. The repository, I'm just going to run the Terraform plan. You seem to speed up an error, but that is good. It can also work. Besides being to the documentation. Terraform plan. So if you check telephone speeds and error that you need to do a plan and then generate the config. So you take this and paste it on your terminal. If you go to documentation, the same thing that you are seeing there, this is the auto generation part of the code. Go back to the ID, run that plan. Well, before I even run that plan, you can see that there is none. Telephone state here, which means there's nothing being made by telephone. So once I run this plan, it is going to generate a config file with name generated for TF. It can be anything, any name only. Right, here is a more plan. And Create a file. This is the auto generated configuration file. If you do use this step, if you don't use this step, it means you've got to create these entries manually, which is texting and prone to error. So, this is a real game changer in doing reports. But the import isn't been done yet, there's no TFT file. The next step, I'm going to actually apply the configuration, which will be the actual import. Apply. Dash approve. I wouldn't do that to dash approve import. This is a test environment, so it's good enough. Once I do that, I expect that the import will be done in the way of my telephone managing the resource. You can actually see from the part, this is the port NFS port that I added, port 80 that I added. Right, you see one important. And now your TF status get enters. If you come here, let's go back to the EC2 console. Let's say we decide to change something. Let's say we move edit security group. We remove this end. To show you that this resource is being managed by telephone, I'm going to do a telephone plan.
Now you can see we want to change. Telephone is actually trying to refresh the change that you have removed to zero phone and for NFS, which means our resource is now managed by telephone. So let's check. I will refresh you. I want to have protected because I deleted the resource. But telephone is not here with that because that is not in the state file. If I do in a file again, that should be that any change. Let's see. The moment I refresh, let's see if it's done. I'm going to, going to first of all, let me give it some a moment. Modifying the security group. Go to the terminal, refresh, then our group is back. So you see how good it is and how fast, very scalable when you're going to import large environments. If I decide to destroy this resource since it's under the management of telephone, telephone, destroy. This telephone sees that and tries to destroy this resource. Let me accept that. See if the resource disappears. Show that it's gone. Back to our console. Security groups. That security group is gone. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been of help to you. See you again another time. Bye-bye.